Settlement warning, hostile spy su suspected. We have a spy in our midst. Okay, now we have a spy because we let him go. Dang it. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here. And so we are continuing our uh, settlement series. So this is right after you accept the job as overseer in your settlement. If you don't know how to do that, there's a, a link up top and down below in the, the description to how you can do that. But once you've settled on a settlement, no pun intended, the first thing you have to do is create your overseer's office. So let's head on over here. And these buildings right here, they will actually, it looks like it's under construction because it has these walls that are put up on it. So let's get over here and let's see what we need. We need 210 silicate powder, and this is not a guarantee. It randomizes the items you need. You won't need too much, but you'll need, like, I've seen 190 ferrite dust. I've seen different kinds, so you'll need some kind of a basic building block material. So we're going to do 210 silicate powder. I have that, so good. And then the timer starts, and right now the timers are really short. One minute and 30 seconds for things to happen, but... They will get longer and longer. So get ready for that. I've seen the timer get up to like a couple hours. And so just be ready for that. But let's get this timer going. There we go. It is done. Now the next one you can see from the bottom right, or you can just go over to your terminal. It will tell you, hey, look, you need five metal plating. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit more advanced material, but it's not always going to be the same thing. Sometimes it will be. It might be five metal plating for you, but it's not a guarantee. But we need to put that in there. So let's put that on. And boom, there we go. And now we have another minute and a half timer. So one more uh, minute and a half timer for the overseer's office. There we go. Our roof is done. Now we need a final fit out. Okay. Microprocessors to the all the interior stuff, I'm assuming. So you can either make them or buy them. I know the recipe for microprocessors. I need carbon nanotubes, though. So let's make three of those. And then three microprocessors, because that's what we need. All right. So this is the final process before our overseer's... Uh, office is complete so yeah one more timer for a minute and a half let's go there we go we are completely finished now look at that new building opportunities available picking up mind control devices from their medium dwelling okay I don't, know, I don't know what you're trying to do with that, but okay. Oh, let's find our door. Uh, of course, it's probably right where I was at. I'm just not paying attention. There it is. And so this is our overseer's office. I love it. Look at that. We just need more lights in here. So let's pull up our uh, menu. Look at that. Boom. Look at all the stuff we could do here. I like it a lot. We really can't. We don't have a lot yet, but that's okay. We're going to get some later on. But for now, let's go over to the Overseer's uh, Administration Terminal. Now let's see, uh, view settlement status. All right, so this is what we're doing right now. Current debt, we're at 55,000 units in debt because our settlement costs 260,000 to maintain every day, but we only make 153,000, so we are at a deficit of about 100,000 110,000 a day. Now this will increase. This will get better as you build more buildings and make everyone more happy, your citizens happy in your uh, in your settlement. But you can't pay it off. Like I couldn't pay this with my credits right now because they don't want you to cheese it or cheat it. You have to bring up your productivity to make money per day. So how we do that? We do that by building construction stuff. So. They give you a few options every time. You can uh, you can make the saloon, which will uh, begin construction of a dance lounge. It'll give you plus 5% citizen happiness, but it will cost 
17,000 productivity, so it'll actually cost you a ton of money. But, you could also make it approve a marketplace. We can have a commercial exchange. So I think early on we want to get some money going, so let's do the uh, marketplace and then next time we're going to do the happiness. We'll increase the happiness. So there we go. So now we've we've approved the plants, but we still have to do the same thing we did for the administration building. We have to go find out where the building is, and it's way over here. And we have to build this building, and it's going to have its own timers as well. So be ready for that. And these timers are going to be a lot longer. Let's go over here. We need a silicate powder right there, 340. So it's always starts off with your your basic material your medium material, and then your really advanced materials. Okay, so we're doing our basic one on this one. And that is going to take two hours, as you can see from the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Two hours to do that. So, wow. But in the meantime, we've had a stranger come to our settlement. So let's go see what's going on. And you're going to have random events happen. So we really can't do anything with that building for two hours. And... Don't worry, that that is not game time. That is clock time. So if I were to stop, save the game, and leave right now, like turn it off completely, I could come back in two hours, reload up the game, and it will be done. So it just counts real lifetime, not game time. So it's okay if you need to turn it off and go take a break or something like that. You go do that and come back in two hours, and it'll be done. Let's see, greet uh, settlement and visitor. So, he wants a, the operator entity, Kev, recently arrived at the settlement and has requested the attention of the Overseer. They are being pursued by the Sentinels and hope to shelter within our walls. So, we can take in Kev, but he's going to cost more money because he's an extra person. It costs money to give him electricity and food and whatever else he needs. Probably just electricity because he's a Corvax. But if we turn him away... It will decrease our Corvax standing. So we're going to keep him. We're going to take on a little bit of debt. We're going to make our saloon or our uh, market. So our market will uh, give us extra money anyway. So we should be okay. Let's take him on. There you go. Yeah, Kev. Love it. All right. Every, everything is running smoothly. Yep. We got more debt going on. And so just keep your eye set on what you're doing. You can just play the game. You can turn it off. You can save the... Well, I would recommend save the game and then turn it off. That way you don't lose any progress. And you just come back in a couple hours and it will be done. So I am going to go farm some uh, berry technology. So hopefully you guys are excited about this. I'm excited. Wait a minute. We're going to name... We have to name our settlement. I just remembered that. We don't want to put it as Lost Etagas. No, it is Jason's Kingdom. Jason's Kingdom. Because it's my kingdom. All right. So there you go. That is my settlement name. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Now remember that timer is going to take a while. So next video, we might have a lot more fast forwarding. But in this one, I kind of wanted to go through what kind of the basics of what you're doing. You're going to be doing that a lot and then in the meantime if you were just to keep playing the game like go around and collect stuff you will run into random events like people will have disagreements you'll have strangers show up and ask for shelter things like that so you'll get random events that happen at your settlement but most of it is just waiting for that timer to run down on the construction of our marketplace so i will see you guys in the next episode wait a minute a citizen dispute has arisen Let's go do this real fast. We already have a, a dispute. We just got the settlement going, and now we have a dispute. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, geologist entity Yang accuses engineering entity Toop of smuggling item <laughs> past the system authorities. He's accused of smuggling. It is noted that the accused runs a rival business with the considerable success. Oh! Oh, okay. So he's accusing him of smuggling because he has a rival company that's really working well, huh? See, so that, that changes everything for me. It's noted that the accused runs a rival business with considerable success. 
So, we know that if we, uh... If we find him, we will get extra money. Because we're, we're finding him, you know, we're basically giving him a ticket for smuggling. Or, we could just let him go, we don't know what we're gonna get. Unknown outcome. Let's see what we get with an unknown outcome. We get a superheated storm, of course. Settlement warning, hostile spy su suspected. We have a spy in our midst. Okay, now we have a spy because we let him go. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it, well, that's what I get for trusting him. All right, well, I'm gonna call it there, you guys. Hopefully you guys liked this little episode. If you did, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time for real this time.